Hi everyone, this is Gabe with Harvest Plugins, and today I'm going to give an overview of all the features of our free product, Harvest Mini. The main purpose of Harvest Mini is to use randomness to discover interesting musical ideas that you may not have otherwise found. I'll show you how it's done right here. Okay, so I already have Harvest Mini properly hooked up to my instrument in Ableton, so I'm just going to get started with the features. Starting with this section right here, which is the preset section. This allows you to choose between scales and chords for your note selection. I prefer to use scales and I'm going to use D natural minor for this one. You can see the vertical keyboard lit up red and that represents the natural minor scale. Those are going to be the notes that Harvest Mini has to play with. So what I'm going to do now is press play in Ableton and tap a rhythm by clicking this tap button to the beat. Here we go. So that'll work to start with. I want to add another note right here so I can actually double click the piano roll and that'll just add another note. I'm going to turn off the metronome and then I'm just going to randomize. That's this blue button right here. When I randomize, the melody is different now. So it's the same rhythm and it's the same scale, but it's a different melody. Let's hear it. Uh, again, I'm going to try another randomization. So another thing you can do is click and drag notes around. If you want them in a specific place, that's fine too. So already you can see the basic workflow of Harvest Mini. The rest is just added features on top of that. So you choose a scale or a chord, you tap out a rhythm or you choose a rhythm and you randomize. So that's the basic workflow. And uh, I'm gonna show you some more stuff that makes things a little more interesting. So first of all, you can press clear to clear your scale and that clears all the notes, but we're gonna reselect the D natural minor. And uh, the next feature we have is octave. So what this allows you to do is choose uh, an octave or mul multiple octaves. So in this, I could go up one. You can see it turns orange here. That means it's affected by the octave. You can turn off the zero octave and only have the plus one octave. And that raises everything up by a full octave. And of course you can go down as well. And you can also do several octaves. Moving on, you can press clear and that'll clear the rhythm. So why don't we go ahead and do that? No more rhythm. Now, if I go here to preset, I could choose just basic uh, note division. So if I just want to put eighth notes in there, absolutely possible, and here it is. You can add multiple layers of this. So let's say we want eighth, fourth, and then multiple layers. You get the idea. So now uh, that brings us to lock. And what lock does is locks every note on screen in place. So here's an example. I'm gonna go one octave low and do quarter note. Now let's hear what this sounds like. Let's randomize until we have a, a sort of baseline for this sequence. Okay, that's sort of interesting. So I think I'm gonna go with that. So now what I can do is press lock and now those are frozen in place. You can see I press the randomize button and it does not randomize. So uh, basically that's frozen. So let's go back to the zero octave and turn off that octave. And now we're gonna see if we can add some sort of top line to this. these notes over, I think. Okay, and there's a little melody right there. And if I randomize, the bottom bass notes don't get affected because they're locked and the top ones do. And moving on to the bars knob, which allows you to choose the number of bars the sequence actually is. So I'm gonna go to two and I'm gonna press minus over here and that'll zoom out the view so that we can see both bars. So if I clear, and now if I add, let's say eighth notes, it goes across two bars as opposed to one. And that can go all the way up to 16 bars. And of course, zoom out every time 
you need to see all the bars. And this could be just like this. So if you can get really long sequences out of it, if you like. So now I'm going to zoom back in and the next thing on the list, let's stick to two bars for now. And the next uh, feature we have is the note length. So uh, if you go to one, then it's your note length is going to be one bar. Of course, if you go to 164th, that's 64th notes, 32nd notes, 16th notes, 8th notes, etc. So I'm going to do one, or let's do half length note over here. And let's actually do uh, another layer of that. And now what we've got is essentially a chord progression of two note chords, four different two note chords. Let's hear what they sound like. I'm going to lower the octave by one. And if you want, you can add a third layer on top of this with both octaves. And then you can lock those and start lower the note length over to quarters or eighths and do a melody on, let's do quarters and do a melody on top of that. Resetting things, I'm going to go back to the first octave and I'm going to put the note length at eighths and we'll stick at two bars. So the next feature is this little rest icon, which means chance of rest. So I'll show you what that means. If I put down eighth notes, um, I can turn on this effect. Now, if I press randomize, all of a sudden we don't have eighth notes anymore, or, or rather half of them have disappeared. Thanos snapped on these notes. Uh, and that's because the level knob is at 50%. So that means each note has about a 50% chance of showing up or not showing up. Uh, and that happens every time you press randomize. And what that means is you're basically inventing new rhythms out of thin air. Here's what it sounds like. So this is a great way to come up with new rhythms as opposed to just randomizing notes around with your own rhythms. So if you can turn it down uh, to get a few more notes, if you like. And the last feature we haven't covered yet is the save feature, which basically just creates a MIDI file of your sequence in any directory you like. So let's press save. And I have a folder right here called harvest clips where you can save things like this. Uh, melody uh, save. And now you can bring that in over here on the left side. I go to harvest clips and it's called melody right there. And another way of doing this, which is a little faster, but it's, it doesn't work in every DAW and that's just press record on your instrument track and then just record. We have more videos coming out about how to make drum beats and chords. But that's all that we need to cover for today. And if you like Harvest Mini, but you want more functionality, I highly recommend checking out the complete version of Harvest, which allows you to make your own note selections, uh, allows you to tap using a MIDI instrument. You can lock individual notes as opposed to locking all of them at once. And there's effects, there's uh, live mode, and there's a bunch more features on top of that that give you way more control. If you like the way Harvest Mini works and you want to improve your experience with it, I highly recommend checking out the full version. Uh, there's a link in description. Thanks so much for watching. This is Gabe with Harvest Plugins, and we'll see you on the next one.